the Doctoral Monitoring Board of Commonwealth Vocational University has conferred upon Professor General James Swani Ega at the recommendation of the Chancellor, Doctor of Philosophy, Andres Kaza, in the specialized area of sustainable development, peace, and public governance with all the rights and privileges issued at Kingdom of Tonga. Vice President Dr. James Swani Ega became the first South Sudanese to be the patron of the ASEAN Africa Development Council, Council for Sustainable Peace and Development. Asia Africa Development Council is working for sustainable peace and effective development up to 2030 and 2063 Africa Union agendas. Vice President Dr. James Waniiga is in India, invited by Asia African Development Council to participate on 2019 International Law Scholars Advisor Summit and Investment Meeting on Impact of Justice and Sustainable Peace and Development as Chief Guest. In his keynote address, Vice President Dr. James Wani Iga says the team of 2019 will provide global access to justice for all and promote peaceful and inclusive societies in the world. He added that his strong institutions are key to establish peace at global level. Wani Iga thanks the Indian people and government for offering scholarship to hundreds of South Sudanese students during the last three decades. To achieve sustainable peace and development across the globe, it requires a global partnership to fight and end poverty, Dr. Wani explained. The rich and the poor worlds have a shared responsibility to confront global human misery and achieve sustainable development goals by 2030. The poor countries must move away from fictitious window dressing reforms to genuine reforms. and preventing corruption and abuse of public resources. Poor countries ought to renew their commitments to good governance, rule of law, and respect for human rights. The founder and executive president for Africa Asia Scholars Global Network Abdul Dawal Mohammed calls on world leaders across the globe to promote sustainable peace and development and to fight against poverty. We had a serious meeting at ICON there. The government didn't put money, but I got a lot of organizations. And believe me, sir, it was fantastic. So the PPP, and that's why I say that getting involved, we will do as much as possible to ensure. Because South Sudan is, like I said, is the youngest country in the world. And I think this is the right time that we're doing this because somebody who never knew what he did on the night of April, 11th of April this year. Meanwhile, the founder and director for Asia Africa Development Council, Assis Chandra, says the council is working to make the world to be the better place. He assures his readiness to support the government and the people of South Sudan. For the promotion of sustainable development goals agenda 2030, the council is working in all various actions and activities in line with the United Nations. The council is managed, ETCO, the trademark is managed by the Council for Sustainable Peace and Development. The council is licensed by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Government of India to work for the betterment of human society. Our governing council boards are appointed on the basis of the competence and willingness to serve to achieve founding mission of the council. The government of South Sudan has invited Indian investors and business people to go and invest in South Sudan in the field of education, health, water, agriculture, tourism, among others. And the government of South Sudan is working on the implementation of the revitalized peace agreement to end the suffering of the people of South Sudan. For SBC News, I am Henry Gerajo reporting in Lucknow, Republic of India.